Uh, hey, what's up, uh, YouTube and brothers and uh, sisters in Christ? You know, um, I'm just here to talk to you all about judging uh, righteously. I don't want to be too long, but at the same time, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm just you know I'm just let it flow. I'm a, I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to lead and guide me and to speak through me, to say everything that you want to say. So, you know, I'm I'm here to talk to y'all and, and let y'all know about judging righteously and holding people accountable because uh, there are a lot of people, I'm pretty sure that you heard, there are a lot of people who said to you, you can't judge me, only God can judge me. And, and, and uh, that's not true because Jesus said in John chapter seven, verse 24, Jesus said, judge not according to the appearance but judge, but judge righteous judgment. So judge righteously. So before you can judge somebody else, calling them out on their sins, and before you can correct them, you have to first correct yourself. So judge righteously is, is first a self evaluation is weighing your way of living and weighing it well, with the Bible or weighing it according to the word of God. So if you are doing things contrary to the word of God, then you have to judge yourself in that area. You, you have to know, okay, I'm not doing something right here because in the word of God, God said to not steal, to not kill. And so, and so if I'm doing that, then I'm in sin. So if you are doing those things, you are in sin. But if you're not stealing, if you're not killing and those things, see, it's not just just picking and choosing what what laws and 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 uh, rules to live by. You have to live live uh how the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. And see, that's what a lot of people uh they got wrong because they will pick and choose what what scriptures they want to live and apply or they want to pick and choose what, what what to live by especially when it comes in in the word of god uh that's what they want to do and it's wrong and so just like uh you know lucky charms you know how you have the uh you know uh uh marshmallows now everybody lo love them they taste good and so you have a lot of people uh, that will that will pick those out and eat it because they don't want to eat uh, the other part of it. And so that's just like in the Bible. There are a lot of people who are doing that. You can't pick and choose what you want to live and, you know, live by is 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 not right. You have to live the word of God exactly the way God told you to live it. So if you are doing something contrary to the word of God, it, it is sin. Let me be clear. If you are living your lifestyle uh, contrary to the word of God, it is sin. It is not right. And so if you are um, a busy trying to check another person whenever you're doing the same as that sin, you're wrong for it. And so let's go to um, uh, what Jesus said. Jesus said, judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So what Jesus was uh, saying is the same way that you are out there judging a person, especially when it comes to sin uh, to that, uh, according to whatever you know measure you use, if you're harsh with it, or or if you're giving grace with it, the same thing will happen right back to you. So so if you out there ju a judging person so harshly on their sins and, m and making them feel you know less than, the same thing is going to happen to you. Somebody going to come around and see that you're sinning, and then they're going to pinpoint you out real hard. And make you feel less than. But if you are giving grace, 
then grace will, will, will be given back to you. And then uh, Jesus said, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? So, so why you, so basically, why are you worrying about so, uh, somebody else's uh, sin whenever you're doing the same thing? Like, why are you worrying about trying to correct somebody whenever you're in sin yourself? And then Jesus said, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote of thine eye and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Then Jesus said, thou hypocrite. So basically Jesus is saying that you're a hypocrite. If you're trying to, to, to get the beam out of somebody else's eye, but you're doing the exact same thing. If you are living your life in sin, yourself and then you're trying to call somebody else out on their sin you're wrong for it so he said thou hypocrite first cast out the beam out of thine own eye and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote of of thy brother's eye so i understand when it comes to this uh thing about especially uh okay uh, when it comes to wanting to uh, to check a person I understand that you have your strengths and you have your, uh, 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 you know, weaknesses. And so I would be wrong to try and check you and come to you, uh, you know, with the Bible uh, saying stealing is wrong. If, if, if I'm the one that is stealing too. And so if I am not, especially if I'm not doing the same sin that you're doing, I can, I, I can call you out on that. And if you're if you're not doing the same thing that I'm doing, then you can call me out 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 on mine. But the main thing is to check yourself first, to judge yourself first, and weigh it, you know, against the word of God, or to weigh it and see if you are living according to the word of God. And so, this is uh, something else that not a lot of people like. They do not like being held accountable. The, uh, not everybody likes to have a person in their life being blunt with them. And the reason why it is so important to have somebody uh, in your life that is blunt with you, especially when it comes to living the word of God, it's important because that will help you in your Christian walk with God, in your relationship with God. That will help you to uh, to uh, to be better, and so because you have a lot of people in in this life uh, that'll be like, oh, you can't tell me what to do, and and then they say, oh, oh, why are you judging me? Uh, they'll say all those things, and even then, you know, uh, it's like people just run crazy with that. That's why is it is highly important to search the scriptures, to get that wisdom and to apply it to your own life before telling us, uh, you know, uh, somebody else. It is highly important. So, but it is important to have somebody that will hold you accountable. Uh, the Bible already says iron uh, uh, sharpens iron. So, if you have somebody helping you and they're, sh and they're uh, you know, sharpening you and you're sharpening them, it is helping you to both to be better, especially uh, within Christ. But if you have somebody that uh, that is OK with you sinning and they don't say nothing, they are no good for you. You need somebody who's going to tell you like it is to tell you the truth, because, see, you know, nowadays people, they don't w want to hear the truth. They have itching ears to hear what they want to hear. And so that's not the way that it should be, especially when it comes to the word of God. We don't need somebody who will see us sinning, but, but, but don't say nothing. You need somebody who loves your soul enough to correct you on the things that you are doing wrong and see Whenever uh, somebody corrects you 
on, on what you are doing wrong, take heed to that. And don't look at them and despise them and be like, oh, oh, you're always picking on me and stuff. Don't don't be thinking that way. The way that you have to, uh, uh, you know, look at this is that they are trying to help you. They see something that in you that shouldn't be. So if you are drinking and doing all this stuff, everything that God said, you know, not not to do, if you are doing it. Yes, you are in sin. So that's why we need Jesus' help every day in our lives. We need Christ to help us when it comes to everything. Because see, this Christian walk, it, is, it ain't no cake walk. And so you have to know that Christ will help you. But you have to want to be helped. If you do not want to be helped, then Christ can't help you. Because it is a, a decision that you have to make. All of us are given a choice, uh, you know, whether we want Christ or not. And so if you want Christ in your life, then, then, then you have to be ready to receive correction because all of us don't, uh, don't got this, uh, this Christian walk down a hundred percent. There are still a lot of us struggling in sin. There are a lot of us struggling in sin. And I say that loud. Because people are getting these two things, uh, you know, mixed up. They are getting willfully sinning and struggling with sin, uh, you know, mixed up. And so if you are willfully sinning, you are intentionally sinning, knowing what you're doing, being aware 100 percent and knowing that it is displeasing God and still going along with it. And then struggling with sin is where you're, you are, you are getting Christ's help, you know, through it. But at the same time, it, it, it is a weakness. It's something, it's just like uh, smoking when you've been smoking for so uh, many years and then, and, and, and then you decide that you want to come to a stop. It's, it's going to, it's, it's going to be a uh, hard sometimes because that taste is going to be trying to come back to, uh, it's like, it's like, that or that or that struggle that the same way of of how you were doing it it's like it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be keep trying to come back to you and so that's why um old habit like like habits is not easy to break so that's why you need jesus through it you need jesus help do not do anything on your own don't do anything especially when, uh, when it comes to this life with christ you need christ's help understand that you need Jesus help through it all. So if you are trying to stop a habit or any of or, or any of those things, you have to do it with Jesus help. Do not just sit back and and not and not go to Christ. I don't care how many times you fall into that same sin. You stop doing it on your own. I don't, I don't care how many times you fall. You have to go to Christ and get your strength. Because, see, as long as you are in the devil's camp, he will always get you with the same thing. That's just like if you're trying to stop sleeping with your 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 baby daddy and your uh, baby mama, but you have a wife. Like you, you have you have to stop. You have to you have to seek Christ. And it's just like if if you're trying to stop getting high and stuff, you need Christ. You need Christ just like I need Jesus. So understand when it comes to judging righteous or, or righteously, do a self evaluation first, and then and then uh, then and then and see if you are living the Word of God, and God is backing you up. You're able to to call somebody else out on their sin. You're able to uh, to to spiritually correct them, because as I said, everybody don't like correction, but correction it is needed, because through through conviction comes correction. That is what I I want everybody to remember, because anytime the Holy Spirit is tugging on you convicting you of your sins 
He's letting you know that, hey, you have to repent. And so that is something that we all have to do. You know, repent, 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 repent. So don't take any of this for granted, but truly uh, live the word of God for what God called it to be and not for what you want it to be. I love you all. You all take care. Bye.